Hey, to this is Bullshit Who Speaks, and to all my Flash fans, I'm really, really sorry that I was not able to upload the Versus Zoom episode, and I had a lot of complications because, as you know, my first one was blocked by YouTube, was taken down by YouTube due to copyright infringement. I don't know how. I, apparently, by according to WBTV, I had some of their audio, aka some of the commercials must have got in there because, as you guys all know, every single time I do like a reaction video to that or... Uh, Supergirl or crossover, whatever may be Flash related, I always do like an actual, like, real time live recording of it. Like, I'm actually watching the episode, the new episode, as it as it, as it's happening, and I don't have it recorded as, as of yet. And I made the the mistake of I made the mistake of doing that when I should have just let the episode record and then give you guys the content. But instead, I got. And impatient and let that happen. And now I have a one copyright strike that'll be taken off my YouTube account in a matter of six months. And to be exact, that'll be eight days after my birthday, which will be which is October 10th. So I won't be getting off that copyright strike, will not be removed until October 18th. And then by that, and which in that matter, I will not be able to upload more than an hour's worth of content with for you guys anymore. And I apologize at, at the time being. And I apologize for that, guys, because I really like to stay consistent with my content and including that especially. And, you know, I really apologize that I wasn't able to come through with that. And I apologize. I just want you guys to wait on a little longer and I'll continue to give you guys some more of my content as the time progresses. But for the meantime, I just want to let you guys know that and I'm very sorry. But I'm going to do a quick little recap reaction right now. And overall, the episode was pretty fucking epic. I enjoyed it from top to bottom. We got a, a very good glimpse into Hunter Solomon's past. What happened to him, you know, his father executed his mother right in front of him, which made him go fucking insane. I can only imagine, of course, which made which made him become a sociopath, which led him to go on to the orphanage, which made him become even more of a sociopath, which then made him kill 23 people, which made him let him be, let, which led him into becoming convicted of all 23 of those crimes and then led to the mental asylum where on an ironic and fateful day when he was receiving electro electro shock therapy the particle accelerator exploded which then garnished him and gave him the gift of speed you know and also what i really loved it was just the father and son bond moment between joe and wally that was really touching right there the heart strings a little bit also the ransom was pretty epic as well. He, the fact that Zoom was able to incorporate that into getting Barry's speed, aka the Flash, was pretty damn sadistic but crazy and well thought out. And as you guys have seen it, he also expressed the fact as to how he was able, how he was able to actually be at one place at one time. He actually convinced his time remnant, Jay Garrick, at a different time, to convince him to kill himself, to kill Jay Garrick, his time remnant. And that actually surprises me. It's very, actually very sadistic, but yet very clever at the same time. How the fuck do you convince your past self to kill you at that particular moment? Well, it worked. And now Barry doesn't have his speed. So now my the question that garnered through everyone's mind is, what's the Flash going to do now? Is he going to get his flat? Is he going to get his speed back via mentally, like the time when Wells, well, I'm sorry, when Eobard Fawn was uh, getting ready to be executed by the electrocutional guy? Or will he get it back via from Zoom the same way Zoom got it from Barry? I don't know. But my theory is I think he'll get it back mentally. You know, as time progresses on, I think that's how he'll get it back. That's just my theory. This is your boy Shipper Speaks, and I love you guys. And again, I apologize for such a late response to the video, to the episode. And I'll get back to you guys as soon as that copyright thing is lifted. And I love all you guys. One love.